Congresswoman Woman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to voice my strong opposition to this bill and take a moment to emphasize some of the many concerns that I share with the Taxpayers for Common Sense and other taxpayer uh, watchdog groups as well as conservation advocates. First and foremost, making this program permanent could lead to a significant increase in financial obligations on behalf of Nevadans and American taxpayers from coast to coast. In 2015, the Congressional Budget Office conducted estimates regarding the impact of this prepayment authority on government receipts for what ultimately became Section 4011 of the WIN Act, uh, which the bill now before us would permanently reauthorize. CBO estimated a net loss of $540 million over 35 years. Additionally, the Joint Committee on Taxation projected that the bill would reduce federal gov government tax revenues by $89 million over 10 years as contractors would finance some of their lump sum sum repayments through tax-exempt bonds. As the current approach has already demonstrated, the potential for excessive cost uh, burdens on local communities, making it permanent, would only exacerbate this issue with the cost ultimately being passed down to taxpayers. Irrigators generally receive the largest amount of financial assistance from the federal government, receiving subsidized financing as no interest is charged on their debt, and other project beneficiaries cover irrigators' portion of debt determined to be over their ability to pay. Additionally, while repayment contracts can be mutually beneficial to taxpayers and water authorities, the permanent reauthorization sought by this bill would permanently remove congressional oversight and take a one-size-fits-all approach to water contracts without consideration for the nuances associated with individual projects. Getting rid of congressional oversight, which I think we all agree is incredibly important, uh, in this way would strike a major blow to transparency, leaving taxpayers on the hook for potential misuse of funds or inefficient project management. And finally, uh, and perhaps the most important, the implementation of permanent accelerated payments, uh, this program could have serious consequences for water usage at a time when water supply throughout the West has reached critical levels. In just April, seven states on the Colorado River came to a short-term agreement to reduce two million uh, acre feet of usage uh, many of those cuts will come to Arizona, Colorado, and Nevada. Uh, these states are poised to lose up to a quarter of water deliveries in the future. This is a stopgap, short-term agreement, and we know how dire the situation in the West is. And my own constituents are actively taking pains to conserve every drop of water that they can. So exemption from acreage and ownership uh, limitation and full cost pricing provisions, uh, hold on, I lost my page, of federal reclamation law would all but certainly lead to overuse of increasingly scarce water resources by large industrial scale agriculture interests. Uh, so with that, Mr. Chair, I urge a no vote uh, on this bill. Thank you. The lady Miss Lee from Nevada yields back. The gentleman from Alabama.